living in Australia. There are many ways to enjoy life in Australia. It is important you learn about the many new customs, laws, and the very different ways of life. Be patient with yourself, it will take some time to settle in. In Australia, there are people from many different countries and cultures. Everyone has the right to express their culture and beliefs within Australian law. It might take time for you to get used to and understand this new way of life. In Australia, people go to clubs, theatres, cinemas, museums, as well as many cultural events, music concerts and dance shows. There are often free events, especially on weekends and in school holidays. Australia is a beautiful country and has many parks and gardens that provide a low-cost option for family outings. There are also many community groups and clubs that you can join and meet new people. They include religious organisations, music societies and social clubs. You might also ask your local council about services in your community, such as the local library, the sports centre and youth clubs. You might even find Asian community groups to join. Sport and Recreation Sport is a great way to stay active and to make friends. People play lots of different sports in Australia, including football, cricket and basketball. Some sport clubs are free, others cost money. Mar has been in Australia for two years. I like soccer because I really like soccer. And when they said, who wants to play soccer? And I said, me. Well, only two girls, uh, my friends and me. Thange has been in Australia for four years. I like playing sport most is like playing soccer, mostly. And my second one is probably badminton. But it's make me healthier. And then I meet new friends. It's good people, even though they don't play soccer, they can still come here and we can become friends. Ask for help to find a sporting activity that is right for you in your local area. Border safety. Going to the beach is a very popular activity in Australia. While it can be a lot of fun and it is free, you need to be aware of some important safety issues. Tony is a surf lifesaver. Australian beaches can vary um, massively depending on where you go. They can be very dangerous, sometimes they can be quite safe. The most important thing is if you're not sure, you must always stay between the red and yellow flags. That way you'll know there'll be a surf lifesaver or a lifeguard watching out for you. And uh, that's the best way to stay safe. This is the signal that means I need help when you are in the water. Water safety is very important at the beach as well as in pools, rivers, lakes and dams. Never leave your children alone near water, including in the bath at home. If you can't swim, enrol yourself and your family in swimming lessons at the local swimming pool. Swimming in Australia is not a luxury. It is part of Australian life. If you are living in Australia, you got to send your kids to swimming classes. And, and, uh, and I started sending my daughters and now they are at par with other Australian children. So that's really, really important in Australia. When you are at the beach or just outdoors, you should always wear sunscreen to protect yourself from getting sunburned. Citizenship After settling into life in Australia, many people take the final step in their journey by becoming an Australian citizen. To become an Australian citizen, you must be here for four years, complete an application, pay a fee and sit a test.